deer wheels look brown and rusty and gross? Are you using Photoshop to adjust the black levels of your tires so that they look good with the rest of your car? Is it cramping your style? No need to fear. Today, we're gonna to talk about that nasty brown wheel and how to fix it, how to basically bring it to the color that's supposed to be, nice, rich, and black, and look clean along with the rest of your car when you clean it. Now, two years ago, I made a car washing video and you guys seem to have really loved it. In fact, everything that I said in that video two years ago still is applicable today and works. The one area that I kind of left off was wheels. Now, I didn't typically care before how my wheels looked, but once I got these beautiful rims and I would wash my car, I started to really notice this browning. Now, what that browning is, is it's called blooming. It's due to an active ingredient inside the tire called anti-ozonant, or I think that's how it's called. That chemical is used to preserve the rubber in the tire and keep it from cracking and just essentially falling apart. What happens though is over time, it starts to come out of the tire. When that's met with oxygen, it causes this browning of the tire. Now you'll see my tire is not too bad, but I'm gonna bring you in closer and I'm gonna show you just how brown it actually is. And if you go and look at your car right now, you might notice that your tires are looking brown and not black. And then I'm gonna show you just how to clean it. It's quite easy actually. So if you take a look at your wheel, you should notice some browning on the outer ring area. Mine is not as bad, but you can definitely see this brown ring. Yours could be possibly worse if you've never fixed it or cleaned it before, but we're gonna talk about how to bring back the black. So here's the before, and then I'll show you after we're done what it looks like when we're done. Okay, now to do this, it's really quite simple. You really only need three products. Uh, I'll mention a fourth one, and that's just kind of an extra bonus, but you don't really need it. The three things that you're gonna need is, you're gonna need a tire brush. You can pick this up, and I'll put a link to all these things down in the description below, but it needs to have these hard bristles that allow you to rub the cleaner into the tire. The next thing you'll need is, the magic ingredient. And I decided to go with Meguiar's on this one. This is the a non-acid wheel and tire cleaner. The reason why I did this, I went with non-acid, is because that way you're not harming your wheels. My wheels are powder coated and I don't want to strip that away or ruin the wheels and it's just safer and cleaner. Now, you wanna make sure you're getting a tire cleaner and not a tire shine. Those are the things that just give your wheel a very glossy look and just sparkles and only lasts for maybe a day or two and also it flings off onto your car and makes your car look dirty. So that's why I decided to go with this one. It effectively cleans for wheels and tires, quickly removes brake dust, road grime, and dirt. Uh, and I'll show you how to use this. And then the third ingredient is, and you can use your hose. Um, I'm doing this because I'm doing it in the garage. It's nice, it's easy, it's clean, and you stay cooler in the garage, but it's a spray bottle for uh, water to clean the wheel off. Now. For bonus, the bonus product is what's called a tire coating. Now this one is from Greedo's Garage, a really popular uh, company. Um, and this guy is what you apply after everything is said and done. And it just kind of locks it in there, gives it a nice black satin look and keeps it looking that way for a lot longer. So let's get into it. Okay, let's be honest. If you're here, it's because you like to learn more. And what better way to learn than our sponsor today, Teslab. Now you've heard of me talk about Teslab before, but Teslab is essentially a tool that unlocks a slew of information on your Tesla. Teslab recently just updated their app and unlocked even more features. For one, they now have a range map. It's an overlay on a map that just shows you how far you can get. Sure, you know how many miles, but it's kind of cool to see just what cities you can reach on your state of charge. Next is being able to label certain charging locations, like I charge at work, so now on the map I see it as work. It allows me to separate and see just how much I've saved and how much I've charged at work versus home. 
The cool thing about Test Lab is being able to save all of your trips, but now you can actually add notes to that and then you can export all of these trips. So for those of you that expense your drives, this is awesome. One of my favorite features about Test Lab is the community. And now they've got made it even easier to find your favorite communities and groups to join. If you're interested, join my group the Tesla Raj community, and we can share our trips and experiences and so forth. And it's really fun interacting with everyone. Listen, I could go on and on about Tesla Lab, and this is just on their new feature set. This is on top of all the amazing tools around efficiency, charge status, what weather does to your vehicle's range, controls your vehicle, and many more that Tesla Lab offers. If you haven't checked out Tesla Lab, click the link down in the description below to check them out. Now, back to the video. Okay, so to get started, your wheel will need to be wet with cool water. Uh, I do usually do this when I'm washing the entire car, so that way I don't have to do that. Since I'm not washing the car right now, I will use my water spray to moisten up the tire and make sure it's nice and cool and wet. And then we're gonna use uh, the Meguiar's non-acid wheel and tire cleaner. And the way that works is we're gonna spray it all over the outer rim. And some of it's gonna get on your rims, but most of it should be on your tires. And you can go a little bit over the edges. And you're gonna let that sit on there for 30 seconds. Now, as we're waiting for that to clean up, you'll see all of the foam is pulling out all that dirt. You see the foam is turning brown and that is taking it off the entire wheel. Once 30 seconds is done, take your hard wheel bristle brush and rub that in there. Make sure it is all coming off. And you do want to move quickly with this because you don't want it sitting on your wheel for too long. And I make sure that I go around the edge a little bit so I get a little bit of the inner tire as well. Once that's all done, go ahead and take your cool water and rinse it all off. And remember, it's okay that it gets on your wheel. So go ahead and just rinse that off as well. You're not gonna use the hard bristle brush on your wheel just for your tires. So I'm making sure that all the soap is off the wheel and off the tire. And this is why I like this little hand pump. It just makes it super easy. Unless you have your hose and you're washing your car. And once that's all cleaned off, then we let it sit and dry. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the wheel um, while I'm waiting right now. Now I'm just using a microfiber towel here to clean off the tire, sorry, the wheels. The new Aero Razor wheels. And they're awesome, very unique. I'll put a link to the video that I made on them as well. Uh, really cool, made out in Italy. Check it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling really good about just how black and awesome the tire is looking. Not only that, but the cleaner cleans the wheel as well. Look at this wheel, it looks amazing and awesome and they both complement each other. And now, your tire and wheel look awesome. Now, this cleaner lasts, from my experience, about anywhere from three weeks to a month. So something that you will need to do every month, probably around the same time that you wash your car. Of course, it depends on how much you drive. So you drive more, it's gonna show more and your wheels are probably looking super brown. But here's how to do it. Now, the last step is this tire coating. Now, you definitely don't need this, but if you wanna go it one step further, you can apply this coating. Okay, so for the uh, tire coating, you're gonna obviously need your tire coating um, product. You're gonna need a foam applicator. If you want it to be a little bit more satin, you're gonna let it sit for a little bit, use the foam applicator to wipe it, and then you're gonna need a microfiber to wipe off any overspray uh, that lands anywhere else. Now I'm gonna just wipe away the exterior here just to make sure that nothing landed on the car. And then I'm also gonna wipe the wheels to make sure that none of it landed in here. Should be okay. It's actually a really nice nozzle and easy to spray. And there's our 20 second timer. And now we're gonna take our foam applicator and just rub that in. And 
Boy, would you look at those tires. Matte black, looking just phenomenal. Can't get a better looking tire than that. Eat foam applicator just to see, you know, the black that came off of it. But uh, yeah, you could just see just how much more black it is. Not that it wasn't before, but this just took it one more notch higher. Let me show you close up. Okay, here's my front tire. This has not been cleaned or coated or anything. You can see the browning slightly. You can see it and you can definitely see it just doesn't look nice it's lacking and as you evaluate the entire car with the wheel the wheel definitely makes it lose points it's just lacking that beautiful tire look and feel okay so here's the car we pan over to see the wheel and you're just like that's eh, a nice wheel but man your tires are just kind of lacking there now let's go look at the ones that we did okay now you're looking at the car and you're looking back and you see the wheels and you're like, God damn, Rosh, your tires are looking bomb. And your wheels too. How they look so good, Raj. Well, share them this video. That's how. Again, clean tires. And let's go look at the dirty tires. You seeing the difference here? Hopefully you are. And hopefully it did. Hopefully it taught you how to keep your wheels and your tires cleaned. I'm sure I mixed up the two of those and wheel people all over are gonna get super triggered, but your wheel is your rim and your tire is your rubber, just for clarification purposes. Remember, all the products that feature in this video will be linked down below. They are affiliate links. It does help the channel. Let me know, did you buy the products? Did it help you out? Are your wheels now looking as good as the rest of your car? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and I'll catch you guys next time. See you and your clean car and your clean wheels around. Check it.